Hello everybody, let's take a look at what we've achieved so far. We have a table of tickets, which is populated by our ticket database table, that's this here. We have the ability to add new tickets, one, two, three, like so, click on add and we can see our new ticket displayed in the table. We can update existing tickets for click update and there's the change we made with a snazzy little informational message telling us what we've just done and we can also delete tickets and that one's gone. But you know what would be nice if we update this one, uh, set this one to a status of open with a capital O. Uh, this one open but with a lowercase o. Now, you know, we know that they are both open, they both have the same status, but you know, programmatically they are different. So we don't want the user to be able to use different variations of the same thing. So what would be good is if we change this from free text to, uh, to be a drop-down selection. Now because we're using Bootstrap, let's go to our old faithful getbootstrap.com. Um, just want to remind ourselves of the syntax for... Um, I'm just going into forms here for a drop down list. Uh, where is it? Okay, so form controls. We've got an example select here, and that's exactly the kind of thing that we want. So, form group, this is the one. Let's just copy this. And let's find out where we need to put it. So, resources, views, tickets and I think it's show so we've got a summary description status this is the place um, I'm just going to paste it in it's not going to make much sense at the moment and I'll just indent it let's get the label right There we go. Now the select has got a class of form control, that's good. The ID, let's take that from the, um, the original one. What else do we need? We need the name of status. Copy that down. And the value, we need the value as well from the old one. Okay, I think we can get rid of that now. In fact, we can get rid of those two lines. Get rid of that. Oh, the indentation is all wrong now. It's going to do my head in. I'll, I'll leave that for now. Let's take a look and see what it's done to our page. So uh, I'll just refresh the page. And okay, it's messed up the uh, the buttons but we do have a drop-down list. Back over to the code, let's see what could be wrong. I think it's this, um, oh yeah, we've got a, an extra end div. Let me just tidy the indentation up. Okay, we also need some realistic values for option. So, for the first one, I shall have open I mean, you can make you can use values that you want uh, but for demonstration purposes I'll have open in progress and closed so we can get rid of these save that back over on the page let's refresh Oh good, the buttons are back. 
and we now have realistic uh, values for the uh, drop down selector so that is good back over in the code we're going to need the value in here so I'll just copy that that in there, that in there, this is in progress, so copy that and paste it in the value, closed, save that and back over on the page, let's just go back and then go back in, I uh, just want to see whether the uh, update works, so I'll set this one to in progress, Oh my god, look at that. Fabulous. Set this one to closed. Okay, it looks like it's working. What about adding new tickets? Oh, it's the old input box. So we know that we're going to need to copy this into the create page. So there's the status, if we just paste in what we copied and save that, back to the page, refresh, oh dear, that didn't work. Let's see now, okay, right, okay, so we're trying to um, put the value in there from the ticket, but at this point we don't have a ticket we're in the process of creating one so we can get rid of that save that and refresh the page again and that's looking better and we've got a drop down selector that we can use testing this create page and this one will be open There we go, that's the one that we've just created, so that's working. There is something very important that we need to do that we haven't done, and that is validation. So when we create a new ticket, we don't want the user to be able to add a new ticket where the, the details haven't been supplied. But at the moment, there are, um, we can do that, or at least we can try to do that. The uh, database constraints stop us doing that but um, this is not a very good solution you don't want the uh, the page crashing um, when the user does something wrong really you want some way to prevent the user from uh, leaving out the details so in the next video we shall introduce some validation